Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about doing a colorful landscape. Not a black and white, colorful, you know. But we're always gonna start off with one of the four designs. This happens to be asymmetrical, also known as off balance, where you have a whole lot of something over here and one little thing over here. That's only one of the compositions in the four compositions that I use in my landscapes. But this is black and white. I wanted to show you the design. Since it's all about color, we're gonna start off with orange background. Let's get started. So of course I start off with my goof proof color wheel. And look, it says dominant color blue. Focal point, red, the two spice colors, yellow and purple. So I already have it out. Here's, I put out a couple blues. I like choices. Dark blue, middle tone group blue. There's some cobalt blue. Over here is my focal point color, red. But I have that opera in there and I have my cadmium red in there. I like to mix it all up. Over here, the two spice colors, yellow and the purple. Of course, you know me, I like a little bit of black and um, white everywhere, wherever I can. The white makes the colors opaque. Big brushes, I'm ready to get started. Let's go and paint the landscape. Okay, I'm ready to go. Even though the background is a warm orange, it's the way I was trained. Okay, classical painting. Why orange? Well, that's a long story, but I always start with a warm tone. But I'm gonna go back right into my dominant color. There's the dominant color, it's blue. This is asymmetrical. Get the graphic design down. Get the strong design down. All right? And here comes a little focal point color. Just a little, there you are. So it's way off balance. Always start loose. Always start loose. Add some white up in here. Whew. Big shapes, always start loose and wet. I'd say that's pretty wet. Mm -hmm. This is the composition of the asymmetrical version, right? That's the first step. Now I'm gonna paint right into wet on wet. Gotta get a focal point color in there, right? Remember the focal point color is one spot. One spot, you can't miss it. I'll put it somewhere else too. You should have paint everywhere. All at the same time. More water. <laughs> It starts to paint itself if you use lots of water. Look at this. Oh, there's that orange peeking through. A little bit of a sunset. <laughs> cool. All right. More white. I'm gonna put some clouds in here. I also like to use paper towels at this point. Remember, the focal point is only in one spot. You don't want to have two focal points. This is loose. Not tight. <laughs> Let's go into some of that spice colors. Whoa! Look at that. Spice colors, yellow. You always put the spice colors around the focal point and around the spice color, too. Let's really make it spice color. Woo! See, painting everywhere. I've got paint on my fingers. I'm painting quickly, only because this is a very short video. Now the violet color, here comes the violet color. That's the other spice color. Wow. 
kind of a sunset, right? Yeah. Uh, I like to paint places I like to go to. I make it all up. That's the best part. Big brushes, paper towels, paint everywhere. And again, this is just the beginning. I don't want to overpaint it. And normally I paint with four or five of these going on all at the same time. It keeps me from staying in one place too long. That's one of the reasons why we all over overpaint. It's because we don't have another painting to go to. If you have lots of them to go to, you'll paint quicker. So that's pretty much it. We have a lot of something on one side. Bring some, some darks in here. Bring some darks. Ugh. Yeah, we go. A lot of stuff going on in one area and one little tiny little spot over here. There we go. So the world's fastest course <laughs> on landscape painting. Paper towels. Big brushes, still a focal point. Man, whew. And that's it. One more thing. How do you look at a painting? Always behind a mat. You can't look at the painting in the same area where you created it, so you have to isolate it and bring it in here. And now I can see what's exactly what's right, what's wrong, what more does it need. Uh, see, the advantage of an old discarded mat. Hey, I hope you liked this video. It was fun to do. Try these. Do many of them, one after another after another. Repeat yourself, but variations on a theme. This is one of the compositions that I do. And as you've been watching my Bob last, you know I have four different compositions. This is only one, whereas asymmetrical. A lot happening over here and one little focal point over here. Enjoy the video. Please share it. And thanks for your comments. I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Hi there. I'm Bob Burridge, a painter. And guess what? I'm going to be painting and teaching at the Dillman's a four day loosen up. Don't we all want to loosen up? And I'm going to show you how I develop my own ideas, how I get my colors down and how I take these ideas and turn them into great paintings that I love to do. And you're going to love doing your paintings too, because you're going to be painting the whole time. We cover every different subject and whatever your ideas are, I'm going to be supporting you. So loosen up four days. What an idea, huh? And I can't wait at the Dillman's. I'll see you there at the Loosen Up Workshop.